Hi everyone. This is my gaming PC that I built two years ago. I have upgraded the graphics card once from the 2060 to a 3060 Ti. And today I'm going to upgrade it once again to a 4070. So far, this PC has been able to do everything that I've asked it to do. From photo and video editing to gaming and streaming, this PC has done it all. The only major hiccup I had was when one of my hard drives failed and it would not post, which I misdiagnosed as a motherboard firmware issue. Whoops. The primary advantage that I've seen with upgrading the graphics card has been an increase in processing speed when rendering photos and videos. When I upgraded to the 3060 Ti, it cut that time in half, and I'm expecting that after I get this bad boy installed, it's going to be blazing fast. So let's jump into it. Some things that I like to use when I'm working inside the computer area is a anti-static wrist strap and this handy dandy iFixit tool case. This has everything I've needed to do any kind of minor repairs to computers. I've laid the PC down on its side and what we're looking at here is one of the two PCIe slots. So right here you'll notice there's a little tab that will come up when you insert your graphics card and lock it into place. You can see the same locking mechanism here on top of the graphics card that is installed. In order to remove the graphics card completely, I need to remove these screws that are holding it in place. This is where the GPU locks in to that tab that I pointed out before. Now let's unbox this new GPU. I actually really like ASUS products. I have an ASUS motherboard and three ASUS Tough Gaming screens, and I've had a total of five, no, six ASUS Tough Gaming screens, and I've really liked all of them. Alrighty then, here we go. Don't get to remove the protective film before use. Next step is to remove this guy and insert it into the PCIe slot. Let's get to it. All right, something that will help here that has caught me up in the past is removing these little covers. You can put them back after you get it installed, but definitely recommend removing them before installation. So remember, we want to hear that click when we push down. All right, I think she's in there. Great. And now I'm going to reinstall these two screws. And something interesting about this is looks like it only takes one 8-pin. So I wonder if I could remove one of these PCIe connectors. And here we go. And it's in there. Let me open up the other side and see real quick if I can remove one of these PCIe connectors. Now, because I have a fully modular power supply, I can essentially add or remove cables that I need to run this PC. And voila, just like that. Let's make sure I didn't disconnect anything else in the process. Well, that's it. I'm going to put everything back together. We're going to plug it in and update the drivers for the new graphics card. I have everything plugged back in. Now, let's start her up. I left the glass panel off here so that if we hear any fans hitting, we can address that promptly. Don't forget to turn your power supply back on. We got lights, good. Camera, check, action. Okay, now we got boot screen. So I'm gonna put the glass panel back on this because I don't hear any fans hitting. And uh, yeah, then I'll update the drivers. So there was no driver found on the graphics card when I started it up. Luckily I had the driver in here already saved on my computer. So uh, I'm installing it now and hopefully my second screen will work because that is affecting my second screen. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Please subscribe. Go follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. The links are down below in the description. And I'll see you next time. Peace.